Coming up, the voice of Sleeping Beauty, Mary Costas. I hear she's a babe. Babe? Babe. Oh, I hope so. Do you do any soft shoes? Oh, yeah, right you now. Do? Ready? Okay. I don't know. Can we do our feet moving down here? Oh, God. <laughs> No, I'm really not supposed to speak to strangers, but we've met before. I know you. I walked with you once upon a dream. Just like it in the movie, hair of gold, lips like a rose. Oh, that's a wonderful start. Thank <laughs> yeah. you so much. <laughs> no problem. You know, it, the great thing about DVD, and this is the 50th anniversary of it, uh, which I don't have to tell you, but so many new generations of kids can get to see this movie that they never have seen before. And it, when I think of that, I'm thinking, oh, this is, this is a piece of history being revisited. But when I think of you, I think of the golden age of television. And, and with the modern technology now, I can literally pull up the, the little episode on TV. Yeah, come out here, will you kids, Brian? Did you have any trouble uh, rehearsing this duet? Or? Oh, no, Jack. You see, uh, Rory and I have worked together before. Yeah, Jack. Uh, Mary and I just finished a picture together for Pine and Thomas called oh. The Big Caper. The... And uh, If you remember, you might remember... I do! Oh, I do <laughs> Ed remember. Sullivan's show. Literally, <laughs> you are being introduced by Ed Sullivan. And the, it's absolutely wonderful, and, and, and every part of it, television and making a motion picture, The Great Waltz, I wanted to make... Uh, uh, one really big musical picture, but but to work with all of those unique personalities, uh, most of all to start it off by working with Walt Disney, who mm. was a perfectionist and who established a work ethic for me that just traveled throughout mm. my career of, of being in no competition with anybody else, but in competition with yourself to the, be the best you could possibly be. That That was terrific. But, but isn't that fun for you to play that? I <laughs> you know, it's a mirror. You can just go on YouTube and you can see it all. Not just that, Jack Benny and the, the Frank Sinatra show. I mean, you're with the man. I mean. And, and you know who I was with on that Frank Sinatra show? Oh. Eleanor Roosevelt. And wow. she was so marvelous. She came over to my dressing room and she says, Miss Costa, could we get a hot dog? And I said, oh, yes. And so we just headed over to get a hot dog in the commissary. And the, her uh, uh, Secret Service didn't know she'd gone. And we were over there eating the hot dogs, and they were running over there because the people were surrounding her and loving her because she adored people. And isn't it strange because she adored people, and so did Walt Disney. He loved families. He loved children. He wanted to make something inspirational. Uh, and, and he felt he did so in his, uh, in his films. Particularly, he loved Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. And you, you just mentioned Eleanor Roosevelt, mm -hmm. but you, you're, we're talk I'm talking to someone who sang for JFK. Wow. I tell you, um, President Kennedy and, and the beautiful Jacqueline Kennedy heard me sing the Star Spangled Banner at the Academy Awards, and evidently they didn't forget it because Mrs. Kennedy asked if I would sing at his memorial. And I really didn't know the Liberame from the Verdi Requiem. And I learned it in three days because I didn't want to have my head in the book. And I just learned it and memorized it and followed the book just for the chorus part. And, and I tell you, the, the sports arena was filled with people. You mm. couldn't hear a sound. You couldn't hear them breathe because we were all so stunned and sad. And we wanted to do our best, you know. Mm. That, that, that is, of, of all of my performances, probably the one that stands out the most. It, it's just amazing when you think of just the, the way things were. And I've, I pulled up something else on uh, YouTube, too, because when, when, you, when you keep saying singers, one, I would think one of the hardest types of singers, and I'm pulling it up here. Do you still sing to this day? I mean, do you sing in the shower? Do you, sing? you know what? I sing in the shower. No, I don't. I really don't sing in the shower because I get my mouth wet. My mouth is pretty big, you know, from singing so long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I do sing. Uh, I sing and love to sing. I go into the classrooms, particularly with the younger children, and I go in as the singing lady. They know I am the voice of Sleeping Beauty, but I go in there and I explain to them what the opera is all about. Instead of speaking, we sing. And so if they ask me a question, they have to sing it to me. And, uh, and one little fellow says, 
I don't, I don't sing. I said, oh, yes, you do. Everybody can sing. No, I don't. I don't. And I said, well, what did you want to ask me? And he said, I wanted to know, do you like sports? <laughs> and I said, do you like sports? He said, do, do, do. no, I can't sing. I said, yes, you can. Put some breath under that. You know, get it. Let's, let's do it. Mm. Well, he do you like, oh, he found his voice. And by the time we were through with that, that hour with these children, he had had his hand up eight times to ask questions. I sing, I sing to them. That's what I think is necessary now. <laughs> You were also one of the original Chrysler girls. I mean, uh, I mean did, did you get a car out of the deal? Did, did they make sure that you every were in the year, car? Really? Every year. And I had a pink, uh, I had a pink uh, Dodge, yeah. and they gave me the first record player in it. It was a little thing that you put a little record on. Yeah. And the only thing about it is that I had a, a record of falling in love with love. And when you would step on the gas, it would say, falling in love with love is falling. But <laughs> it would go up as you ex accelerated. So they didn't have it perfected. <laughs> hey, when, when you were doing like the recording sessions for, for Sleeping Beauty, did, was Walt around? Was he always uh, you know, making sure everything was right? Was he part of the process? Or? Walt was always part of the process. He picked everyone in the film. And after you had recorded, you got a call from him. And he talked it all through with you. And if it had to be done again, you discussed certain parts of it. But here's what he said. He said, I want you to know that character so well. I want you to have so many pictures in your head. I want you to know how she feels about the animals, how she feels about living in the forest. And I asked the animator, Mark Davis, whom I just adored, how do you think she feels living in the forest? How do you think her voice would sound? He said, let the forest caress you. The reason I tell you this is because Walt said, I want you to know that character so well that when you stand in front of that microphone, I don't want anyone to read a line for you. I want you to drop all of those wonderful images to your vocal cords and paint with your voice. So, so that was an ethic that followed me all through my career. Wow, and it's, it's a great, great movie. I watched it again <laughs> last night, and I had forgotten just how great. And it, it took six years and six million dollars. That's like the thing about it is, uh, Walt didn't rush it. He didn't rush it at all because in the middle of it. He uh, established Disneyland. Disneyland was opened. And I worked on it from 1952 to 1955. My parts were finished. And, and you know, you could be called back and forth in between that time. But uh, and then when it was finally released in 1959, he was satisfied with it. But you know what I thought when I saw it uh, three weeks ago in Los Angeles? I was in the audience. And I looked up there and I thought, oh my goodness this film has been perfected. Because with the Blu-ray technology, mm -hmm. the clarity of it, the depth of sound, the color, I saw things in it, colors I had not ever seen before. I feel like it is, uh, I thought, well, you know, Walt, Walt must be smiling <laughs> because it's perfect. It, it is perfect, An absolute pleasure. Oh, it's a Thank pleasure, so Chuck, much. to see, be with you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you. Oh, Thank gosh, you. that was a good one.